What's up guys, Maxim Maxworks here, and today we're gonna to review this little gem of engineering. This is a 2016 Genuine Buddy 125 scooter. Uh, so for those of you not familiar with the scooter world, Genuine is actually an American company, and all they do is import uh, scooters. So Genuine is based out of Chicago, they've got a big dealer network, and they import these. These are actually made by PGO Scooters in Taiwan which has been around since the mid 60s. And this model is kind of the catch-all model, it's called the Bunny 125. This is the same GY6 architecture that Honda pioneered in the late 50s, early 60s, that has been refined over the years to what we see today. It is an air-cooled single cylinder. This one is 125 cc's. They come in 50 cc, 100, 125, 150, 170, and 250 in this architecture with a centrifugal uh, clutch, a CVT clutch, uh, and transmission. So this is your most run-of-the-mill uh, scooter. And the way to think about scooters is at the very bottom of the barrel, you have Chinese clones. And these are usually made by buying molds from Honda or PGO or others that are worn out. And they make parts from, from that. So basically the molds get resold and resold and resold until they're, until they're worthless. And that's where a lot of the Chinese clones come from. This is a Taiwanese made bike. It is um, better, it's better assembled. It has a few more features. It's uh, much nicer to work on than any of the Chinese clones. And this is kind of your medium price point. I think this scooter brand new is like less than $2,500 for sure. So a Chinese clone can be had brand new, imported here in the States for around $1,000, maybe a little bit less. These are in the two to two and a half thousand dollar range. Whereas if you went to a dealership to buy a Honda scooter or a, you know, a Yamaha Zuma or something like that, you're probably going to spend closer to that $3,000 mark. Um, these are great scooters. They're, they're my favorite in terms of value, kind of bang for your buck, which you get in the scooter world, while still having kind of a quality product. Um, and so this one is the 125cc version. Uh, I'm a big boy, so I've modified it. I've put uh, upgraded uh, rollers and weights, so lighter ones that basically give me more acceleration, a little bit less top end. With me on it, the scooter will do about 50 miles an hour on like flat ground. And it's got enough pep that it doesn't lose too much climbing a hill, you know, a reasonable hill. Um, but honestly, you don't really want to go more than 50 miles an hour on one of these things. Um, you're legally allowed to go on the highway. I don't. Uh, this is strictly an around town thing. It's great when you have uh, guests or company that are motorcycle inclined, but you just want to let somebody borrow something for a weekend. You can let them have this. It's a barrel of laughs to ride around. It's a lot of fun. Um, they're very reliable. This particular one I really like because it has both the electric start and the kick start. Um, it's it's pretty much pretty much always going to start for you. Um, I get probably somewhere around 80 miles uh, out of a tank, which is one gallon. Um, some people can get you know as high as 90 or 95 miles a gallon if you're a little a little slimmer around the middle. Um, but these things are are the most basic form of two-wheel transportation with a motor in my mind. Um, obviously this one does require a motorcycle license because it's more than 50 cc's in the Citizens X's, but really anybody can hop on and ride one of these assuming they have like basic balance. It's got a disc brake in the front, a drum brake, uh, or like a cable operated brake in the rear. Um, there's not really a whole lot to go through in, in terms of specifications on this thing. Um, it's just your most ubiquitous little scooter. And, uh, you know, for those of you out in the market looking for scooters, uh, as far as I know, this, other than some styling changes, this hasn't really changed since Genuine became a company in the mid 2000s. They basically keep importing the same thing. They have a bunch of different models that all look a little different, but underneath, I think you're going to find the same drivetrain, either in 50, 125, or 170cc models. So, there's not really a whole lot to talk about with this thing. Um, it's cool. This one is particularly ugly because I got it from a kind of a, uh, like a, it was a theft recovery bike, I think. And I rebuilt it. So I got it super cheap, but it's, it's ugly. Somebody spray painted the crap out of it with silver spray paint for some reason. Um, 
The one cool thing about these is if you order them through a dealership, you can get, I think, like 20 different colors, and some of them are kind of cool. This one was, you know, basic gray to begin with, and it's crappy silver now. Um, one thing I will say is if you're ordering body parts, if you've got one of these, there is a difference between the 170cc models and the 125s because some of the parts do not fit, as I learned. Um, but other than that, there's not really a ton to talk about this thing. Uh, and so we're just going to get it out on the street and I'm going to just talk about it as we ride around. Well, we are out here riding the genuine Buddy 125 and she's a little ripper. Definitely a little ripper. I mean, this speed is actually fairly accurate. So, you know. The cool thing about scooters, right, is that you basically just treat the throttle like an on and off switch. I'm either at full throttle or no throttle. And just like rolling down a hill. And this is kind of the uh, perfect place to ride these scooters, right? If you're, if you're on streets where, you know, it's 30, 35 miles an hour tops, you know, you're in a good spot. And, um... You know, it's still warming up. I literally just left the house and the choke's on, so it's pushing a little bit. But uh, the engine calms down a little bit once the uh, electronic choke is, is satisfied. Go this way. And we just roll through traffic down here because this is precisely what this scooter is for. This is a downtown, running around city streets type of, type of rig. And so, you know... While we're on it, let's uh, let's start start with the basics, right? Basics is ergonomics. Um, I'm six foot, 250 pounds, plus some <laughs> that guy's about to lose his fucking bolt cutters. Uh, well, as long as they don't fall off and hit me in the face. Um, ergonomics. Uh, this thing is actually pretty sweet um, in terms of ergonomics. I'm a big guy and I fit on here. I've ridden two up on this thing, like, and unless the girl behind me is like a 90 pound pixie. It's a lot. It's it's really not meant for space for two people. But if you're more of the uh, five foot five, five foot six, 120 pound variety type gentleman or, or lady, a lot of a lot of chicks ride these things. Um, it's actually very roomy and very comfortable. And there's lots of storage space under the seat. There's storage space here in the front between your legs. I I really really enjoy the ergonomics of these scooters. And even though they were designed for for smaller individuals. Um, they do fit fine for someone as big as me and you know we're winding her out we're doing 55 you know we just we're just ripping as far as performance is concerned you know while we're talking about speed uh, performance is uh, there is some you know the, the choice of throttle and the scooter goes and you hit the brakes and the scooter stops you know uh, almost all of them have a have a two piston uh, front rotor um, you know, the disc brake is great. Uh, you know, if you get something from like the 70s or 80s, it might have drum brakes front and rear. But I like the disc brake. Um, some of them claim to have ABS. It's actually just like some weird proportioning valve thing. Don't trust it. You can lock up the front wheel. But the wheels are so small, um, and you know, like it's very hard to lay this thing over necessarily because it's just so, um, all the weights down low. The thing only weighs 220 pounds or something. So I actually weigh more than the scooter, I think, uh, like full stop. Anyway, what were we talking about? We're talking about scooters, ergonomics. Oh, um, the other the other thing that's like not great about this is the suspension is pretty much maxed out with me on it. Um, anything that even resembles a bump, pretty much the only suspension is uh, in the seat and in my tuchus. Uh, you know, it's it's hard to complain when something is, you know, this basic, like, it frankly does everything I would expect it to do all of the time. And, you know, uh, there's not a whole lot more that you can ask out of a vehicle than that, than the fact that it just constantly works. You could say that the scooter has achieved Kung Fu Kung Fu. It means supreme skill from hard work.
Uh, I don't know. Like I mentioned earlier in the video, Genuine became a company in I think mid two thousands, and they've just always been importing bikes. They don't they don't build anything. Um, you know, maybe they do some assembly or something, but uh, they have a pretty good dealer network too. So it's like. I got OEM parts for this um, shipped to me out of Arizona, uh, but there's a, a number of dealers, um, you know, that you can get stuff from, and it's it's pretty available online. Uh, I've had pretty good luck finding all the things I need, either through uh, dealers or eBay. And I will say this: if you buy uh, genuine buddy stuff. It's not exactly cheap. Like it, it the replacement parts are closer to motorcycle prices than they are to like Chinese knockoff eBay prices. But you know, you get what you pay for. Like the uh, the cylinder lock on this is a lot nicer than what you'd find on on a lot. Is this a performance thing? Does this make you a motorcycle rider? Like, are people gonna give you like the chopped fingers? You know, as you roll past, looking all cool? No, they won't, cause you don't look cool. Nobody looks cool on this. Like. And the other thing to keep in mind is, this is a perfect example, right? I'm riding without a jacket. Um, I see a lot of people who are wearing like very kind of posh clothing, rolling around on these things at 45 miles an hour with no helmet on. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, be real honest with you guys. If you hit the pavement at 45 miles an hour, it doesn't matter if you hit, you know, from a scooter or from a Ducati. It's gonna hurt the same. Um, so, just because it's a scooter doesn't mean you don't need good gear. Now, the flip side of that is scooters are very easy to ride. Um, they're very forgiving. You know, a hyper bike is not forgiving. Uh, if you've ever grabbed a handful of front brake unexpectedly, you know what I'm talking about. Um, these are very forgiving and they're very easy to ride and there's no shifting, which, you know, kind of helps. Uh, I think a lot of people, you know, Manual transmissions in general are kind of going the way of the dodo in, in everyday society. So finding people who want to learn that shit is, is less. Uh-oh. Um, but all in all, I, I'm a big fan of this. And, you know, I've got like 600 bucks in the scooter, um, which means that whenever I need to loan it out, if it gets stolen, it gets wrecked in a way that I can't repair it, like... It would suck, and I would be sad, because my scooter would be gone, um, but it wouldn't devastate me in, in a, you know, in a significant way. So, uh, these are, are excellent things if you live in a city, and furthermore excellent things if you live in a city and want, like, a cheap, easy backup vehicle that you can take downtown and, like, don't care about. There is nothing that you can care about less than a scooter I, I mean you don't have to pay to park anywhere a lot of times you can park on curbs so that's my riding review of the 2016 genuine buddy 125 um you know it gets max seal of approval i would 100 percent recommend a genuine buddy product um to anybody that is asking uh I think they make good scooters, uh, and they're very reliable and uh, easy to kind of maintain and, and easy to ride. That is basically the automotive four-wheel version of a scooter. Like, comment, subscribe, and now we're going to roll some beauties of this scooter and uh, play you guys some awesome music. I love you. Peace.